You're right there guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I know there hasn't been any videos for a while. Uh, if you've seen my last video, you'll notice that I've been quite ill recently. Um, <clears throat> today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building an infinity mirror with a bit of a difference. It's gonna be an infinity mirror mine shaft. I'm really looking forward to this, so let's go. So, let's take apart this mirror, see what exact sizes we have, um, and see what we can do. So I'm gonna make this out of scaffolding board, um, and I'm gonna make it, like I'm gonna rip these down into like uh, three centimeter by four centimeter strips. I'm then gonna clean up three of the sides, leaving the roughest side for the inside of the box. It's gonna make it a bit more mine shafty. Um, and then on the outside, it'd be nice and clean. So I've got the mirror done now. I now know exactly that size. I'm gonna order a piece of toughened glass exactly that size for the top. So I'm gonna get started on the sides now, rip down a load of strips and see what kind of height I want it. piece of plywood that completely matches the uh, the glass that we have. Um, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of this tough Gorilla Glue on it. So I'm going to put some weight on this and put this over to the side. So I've done the groove for the mirrors. Um, all I'm going to do now is glue them up and then leave them to dry. So to glue these up, I'm just going to use some wood glue and a nail gun uh, to pin it all together and then I'll just clamp it up afterwards. So that is one side done. I'm just going to clamp it up now. Uh, one thing I did notice though is uh, I put nails in the top and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, because obviously that's going to be on view. Um, plus I've got to router out space for the top bit of glass. So that's going to be a bit of a problem later. So um, on all the others, I'm not going to put nails in the top one and just clamp that one into place. Live and learn. Now that the panels are done, I'm going to glue up three of the sides, get the panel in so it's square, um, and then finish the rest of the cabinet up. Right, so that's just three of the edges glued up. I've clamped it the best I can. I definitely need to buy more clamps because I uh, could do with a bit more clamping in the areas. Um, it's not as good as I wanted it to be, but this is the first sort of joint that I've done like this. Um, the mirror doesn't slide in as well as it did so I'm gonna to have to chisel a bit out on the inside. Other than that, I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll probably sand this down a bit more, um, give it a stain, put on the other side maybe? I don't know, I'm gonna work out the order later. Anyway, we'll move on to the next bit. So now I'm gonna install the mirror into the bottom of this table that just slides down into that. <clears throat> and then we'll glue the, uh, the top on. So 
So, so far the table's looking good. Uh, you've got the mirror that's in there now. Um, <clears throat> we just need to get the light on, which is over there, which is going to go at the back. We then need to build a little tiny ladder, which will go here. Um, and then I need to get some glass and make a two-way uh, mirror to go on the top. So that's the next step. I've been tinkering a little bit, because uh, I, I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But I've installed the light now. So um, I've given the outside a sand, so the outside's going to be stained and it's going to look really nice and pretty. But the inside's going to be really rough. And that's what's going to make it look a bit more like a, a mine chute uh, tunnel thing. Um, so the light's in, and as you can see, uh, it's reflecting off the mirror. So once the two-way mirror is on, it's just going to repeat that. On the other side up here, we're going to put the ladder. All I've done really is put the light in. In fact, I'll turn it on. Boom. Uh, I've put an LED light bulb in there so it's not going to be too hot. Uh, and I put a bit of copper piping at the back here and drilled a hole through the back of the copper piping. And then the cable just comes out the back. So first of all, for this ladder, I'm just going to cut out this piece here. And we're going to cut out two of these pieces. So I have here my old broom. So all I'm going to do is cut off the end, just like this. Um, and this piece is going to be the rung of the ladder. So we're going to fit this piece. Just forgot to record, but um, pretty much all we've done is drill out two 25 millimeter holes um, and just put in the room handle like that. And now that gives you part of the ladder that we're going to fit inside the box. So we'll do that now. I've redone the, uh, the light. Uh, these are bulk headlamps, by the way. This one's from Amazon. If I remember, I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, so what I've done, I don't know if we can see, um, is there's a rubber sort of grommet that goes in the bottom here uh, to keep everything watertight. I've super glued it to a piece of piping. That super glued to there, I've decided to put the bracket right at the front there. Uh, that just hides the join uh, sort of towards the mirror. So we're going to push this together now. Push it tight, and then I'm going to screw that into place, leaving me with this piece here, which is oversized at the moment because I've still got to router out and buy the glass that needs to go on top. So I don't quite know what I'm doing with that yet. So to make the uh, ladder part match the rung, uh, I wanted to see if I can weather this. And the only way that I know how is by using steel wool and white vinegar. So I'm going to try combining these together. Um, I've not got the right steel wool. Ideally you need um, like that 4-0 stuff. I'm not sure what this is, but well, we'll try it out. Leave it in here for a few hours, see what happens. And then I'll do it again uh, probably tomorrow, see what it's like overnight. So I'm just going to bunch some of this steel wool up. And shove it in there and then I'm going to fill it with the vinegar and let it do its magic. So we'll leave this for a few hours, see what happens. So I've done a few tests. Uh, this is one hour, this is a day, this is a day and a half, two days, but it just wasn't getting to the colour I wanted. So this one was three days and then I ended up adding some tea to it and it came up with this. So I've done it now uh, and it's matched the broom handle really well. Um, so that's going to go great in there. So now all I need to do is I need to get the glass and then uh, router out the side here for the glass to go into turn the glass into a uh, two-way mirror and I started putting a finish on it um, I'm seeing if I like it or not but and I kind of do let's uh, get the glass ordered so I've got the glass for the coffee table what we're going to do is I got some window cleaner we're going to clean it up um, and then this is some soap solution um, some kind of squeegee to get the air and the bubbles out of 
And this is a two-way mirror. So you can see it there, um, which is quite cool because you can see through one side, but you can't see through the other. So we're going to try and fit this now. I'm going to get my missus to do this uh, because she's got a bit more patience than I have. So uh, we'll do that now. dry so we're going to leave it overnight to dry and then trim off the edges later um, but it is really reflective I like that came out better than I thought so we're going to leave that dry come back in the morning and uh, then router out the edges of the wood I've got the outline of the glass put in here um, I'm in a bit of a pickle here because I could freehand it and try and cut that out, right? But I want that as straight as I can get it. But I don't really have the tools to um, to do that. Uh, I don't have a fence or anything I can put on this. And I don't know the best way of doing it. So I think I might just go freehand. Do I knock around it with a chisel first? Oh, no. I think I'm just going to go for it, freehand round, and uh, see where we are after that. Um, what I've decided is I router near the edge, near the line, and then I'm going to just try and chisel it out. My chiseling skills are not good, they're not sharp. So we're going to see what we can do with that. So let's go. the switch onto the cable now I really hate these switches they don't they don't fit very nicely 
Um, so I'm going to have it about, about there. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to just separate this wire. I've got where I want to put the actual switch. We'll dismantle this switch. So what I do, so in here, we've got sort of where the negative and the earth go, and then the live will go between these two points here. But I don't, it's so fiddly trying to get it all in there. So I just take the earth and the live out like this. And we don't use those. And I'll just keep it a solid wire and it just runs straight past. And then all I need to do is just cut the live and fit that in. What I'm going to do is cut the live wire in half. Just like that. <clears throat> Make sure that fits nicely. And that should fit great. I'll undo the uh, tags on the side. So I've undone the two tabs on the side. Uh, undo the two live terminals inside there. Um, and now we just need to separate these wires. Just like that. So now we just need to fit those into the switch. And all I do is just tuck these wires, the live and the neutral, down the side of the switches. And that way I don't have to cut more fiddly wires and fit them in through there. Right, we're just going to continue on with the dyeing now. So that's it all done. Uh, you've got the glass now on top. You can probably see them phone and that. Uh, still need to clean it all up. But you want to see the, uh, the secrets, don't you? So we turn on this switch. You can see it all lit up, but inside is a big hole. And I think that looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, it looks like I could climb down that. I think once this is polished up and all clean, this is going to look amazing. Right, I'm just going to uh, stick some clear wax on this. And then this should be done after that. Just need to get the feet on. So the project's pretty much finished now. Um, what I've done is put the, some little feet on it, uh, gave it a finish. Uh, I've put my logo on it, put the glass in, the ladders in, and, and this is the final effect. How cool is that? So we're gonna give the, a good polish up, take it inside and get those photos done. Right there guys, I know it's been a bit of a long one today, but uh, I hope you like it. It's taken me a very long time to get this thing finished for being very ill and the break I took and everything. Thank you. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. So I hope I see you in the next one. We've got some other good stuff coming up soon.